Actually, I address my viewers. Uh, we now a message of uh, liberal uh, uh, <coughs> political uh, journalism uh, uh, from such a distinguished uh, uh, psychologist like me, Armen Akhmedjian. And I believe that, uh, <coughs> uh, that uh, public policy serves uh, the interests of uh, public good. Uh, and uh, at least for uh, liberals and um, moderate conservatives, it might, it might be true. But uh, I believe that neo fascism is a politics of uh, destroying value, and I reject such politics. I believe that most American politicians will reject this, such politics. I want to uh, pay attention to that um, conflict between uh, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, yesterday I watched that uh, Kremlin Dataru website, and I've seen. Uh, um, a recent uh, letter of um, uh, nationalist Russian president Dmitry Medvedev to his uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lavrov, in which uh, Dmitry Medvedev uh, described that uh, Ukrainians were lying in their statements in which they uh, claimed that uh, um, they didn't owe Russia any money for, um, for gas, for natural gas, uh, uh, like he uh, Dmitry Medvedev called it Russian gas, technocratic gas somehow. But actually, uh, he uh, unfortunately Dmitry Medvedev toughened his stances on Ukrainian um, uh, gas purchases because uh, his nationalist government of national communists from United Russia, along with former KGB uh, hardcore agent uh, uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, they decided to refuse uh, Ukraine in. Uh, uh, low-level, um, low-key uh, uh, discount uh, prices on the natural gas that comes from Russia, and uh, instead they turned off uh, the gas to Ukraine. And, if, and Vladimir Putin, the Russian Prime Minister, he refused to um, uh, he refused to uh, actually recognize Golodomor, so-called Ukrainian famine, during Stalin times when. Uh, um, uh, when late uh, leader of Soviet Communist with uh, dictator, uh, uh, Soviet dictator uh, um, uh, Joseph Stalin uh, actually ordered not to allow uh, any uh, uh, any bread or any uh, flour from uh, being dis uh, di dispensed to Ukrainian uh, peasants in order to cause uh, uh, the extreme famish, uh, during which uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian peasants were starved to death because they uh, rejected collectivization and uh, Russian uh, imperialist domination in Ukraine. And I also believe that uh, mm, Russian uh, Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, uh, uh, who's uh, broadcasting, uh, I've heard recently, he refused to raise, um, refused to raise. Uh, um, stiff penalties against uh, hate crime uh, offenders, which murdered a uh, number of people in Russia, predominantly non-Russian uh, uh, immigrants, uh, mostly males. And I believe uh, Russian Prime Minister Putin uh, is a vile national communist. He actually uh, even uh, claimed that uh, those uh, people who, Russian nationalists who murder innocent people, uh, in the states of Moscow, they were actually served the, the purpose of expressing people's uh, uh, their, their people's will or, or something like that. And uh, he actually, um, that, uh, that nationalist, uh, nationalist, national communist, uh, Russian pr Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, he actually um, agreed to uh, uh, to raise uh, pensions. At first he said uh, to 12%, uh, then he said 30% which means about maybe 15 or to 30 dollars uh, a month uh, to impoverish Russian uh, pensioners whose average wage, uh, average pension is about 100 dollars, maybe a little more than 100 dollars in uh, uh, ruble equivalency of US dollar. Uh, it's, uh, actually, uh, I believe that uh, Russian Prime Minister uh, Vladimir Putin actually uh, doesn't recognize that uh, uh, he should, uh, should have raised uh, those pensions about maybe 100 percent because it was 100 dollar double, maybe 200 dollars equivalency of that uh, Russian ruble. And I also believe that uh, in terms of uh, relations between Ukraine and Russia, uh, uh, Russian President uh, Dmitry Medvedev, uh, in his uh, uh, recent statements, 
uh, to his um, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Lavrov, which I found in Kremlin that uh, claimed that uh, he actually refused to recognize uh, any treaty between uh, Russia and Ukraine, which he denounced, and said that uh, Russia wouldn't follow his treaty with Ukraine, and he practically, uh, unless Ukraine uh, pay uh, West European uh, rates of uh, gas prices. Uh, so this means that uh, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev refused to uh, uh, um, refused to renew uh, Russian uh, gas supply, natural gas supply to Ukraine and Western Europe, uh, because Ukrainians uh, were considered uh, to owe money to Russia for gas on on Western rates of uh, gasoline, and they only wanted 21 million. Uh, 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 volume uh, uh, meters to a further degree, you know, of, ga- of natural gas. Uh, but actually, uh, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, a nationalist, a communist, he doesn't understand the fact that Ukraine actually controls its territory. It has national sovereignty, territorial integrity uh, to control uh, any uh, supplies of natural gas, transit supplies of natural gas, for which Russia over money for using their territory for transport, uh, transporting gas, national gas to Western Europe. And for, for them there are very few ways to um, circumvent uh, with, uh, Ukraine unless they lay their pipes uh, through the Black Sea into, Western, into the Turkey and Western Europe. So I believe that uh, mm, a recent conflict between Russia and Ukraine been stoked by nationalist uh, statements of Russian uh, national communist, Russian president Dmitry Medvedev, which actually propagates uh, terrorist campaigns of uh, former Russian KGB uh, hardcore communists like Vladimir Putin, who actually uh, paid uh, for and organized assassination of rich Western businessmen and extorted, extorted money from uh, uh, former Russian uh, magnate, uh, owner of uh, um, general manager of uh, uh, Russian uh, news agency ORT. Uh, he actually uh, decided to, uh, with Vladimir Putin, uh, Russian pre- uh, Prime Minister, to uh, to actually raise prices against Ukraine, and he actually commands uh, his uh, boss, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, uh, with Russian National Communist from United uh, uh, Russia Party of former uh, communist uh, high-level functionaries, who, uh, who I believe that. Uh, uh, oppose any further privatization of Russian uh, state-owned economy, because the uh, latest takeover of uh, Russian uh, uh, plants, uh, like automobile plants like gas, gas uh, by uh, armed, armed uh, militias uh, of Russian communists, uh, actually uh, just proved that uh, it's uh, communists decided to violent coup d'état in order to oppose privatization in Russia. And actually, they didn't refuse to privatize uh, automobile industry. Let's say, refuse to privatize major um, m- major factories so far. And I believe that um, this conflict between uh, Russia and Ukraine might lead to war, as Russian uh, Prime Minister and his uh, nationalist uh, President uh, Dmitry Medvedev refused to follow any treaty that was signed to Ukraine. Where recent statements on Kremlin that you to Russian uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lavrov. Uh, been mentioned that uh, Russia denounces its agreement, uh, its written agreement uh, with um, its treaty with uh, Ukraine, and actually uh, um, they refuse to, uh, to turn on any supplies of gas to to, re- to resume uh, supplies of gas to Western Europe and Ukraine, unless uh, Ukraine starts paying uh, uh, its uh, West European uh, extremely high uh, rates of. Uh, Natural gas uh, charges, charges, which is unlikely. And I believe that uh, President Dmitry Medvedev not only wants to stop uh, uh, supply of gas to Ukraine and uh, Western Europe equally, uh, he doesn't. Rec- he wants to wage a war against Ukraine. And I believe that um, uh, Russia will be defeated if he tries to uh, commit a military aggression against Ukraine. Uh, because Ukraine is uh, entitled to a national uh, sovereignty, territorial integrity, and I believe that territorial integrity will be kept intact, uh, as we have uh, ample military force to defend the country and charge uh, Russian uh, transit, national gas supplies to Western Europe, 
we may have a right to charge a, some amount of national gas as a payment for, uh, for using Ukraine territory for gas transits to Western Europe. So it, if Russian government doesn't recognize uh, that uh, sovereignty, national sovereignty of Ukraine, territorial integrity, that's very sad. I believe that it might, uh, this conflict, uh, Russian pretenses may end up in the demands uh, uh, to Ukraine sovereignty and actually uh, may end up in war against Ukraine.